Hi everyone, in this video I'd like to show you how to Chromecast from iPhone. That way, you can view Netflix, YouTube, and any stored media on your TV. It's certainly an upgrade from the tiny phone screen. Don't forget to subscribe, and let me know in a comment if you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer them. Or, alternatively, leave a suggestion it could become the topic of the next video. We'll start with YouTube casting. Connect your Chromecast device to your TV and make sure it is connected to the same Wi-Fi network as your iPhone. Open the YouTube app on your mobile device. Select the video you want to cast and tap the cast icon on your iPhone. Choose your Chromecast device from the list of available devices. The video will begin playing on your TV through your Chromecast device. You can control the playback using your mobile. Simple, isn't it? That's because YouTube already has built-in Chromecast support, and it doesn't require additional setup. A similar procedure can be used for Netflix. Open the Netflix app on your iPhone. Find the video you want to cast and start playing it. Tap the cast icon on the top or bottom right corner of the screen. Select your Chromecast device from the list of available devices. Wait for your iPhone to connect to your Chromecast. Once connected, the video will start playing on your TV and you can enjoy Netflix content in TV resolution. To stop casting, tap the cast icon again and select disconnect. So, these two were easy. Now, I'll show you how to stream local content from your phone to a Chromecast. In this case, apps are required since iPhones don't support the Chromecast protocol natively. Ducast is one such app. It has a simple, stylish interface, and is compatible with TVs that support Chromecast. Its main features are iPhone screen mirroring, photo and video streaming. You can use it like this. Download Ducast from the App Store, open the app and grant the required permissions. Ducast will ask to use Bluetooth and connect to your home network. Connect Chromecast to the same network and pick it from the device list. You'll see a pop-up that suggests that you buy a subscription or use a two-week trial version. The devs promise a gift to the buyers of lifetime or one-year subscription. You can close the offer and try the features for free. The main menu has options for screen mirroring, photo, and video streaming. Let's try videos. And another permission should be granted. Now, just choose the required video, and it will stream to TV. Convenient, isn't it? And, even though this is a free trial, the quality is top-notch. But there is a 3 minute restriction, so you'll have to sign up to view longer videos. Another important aspect is the complete absence of ads. To stop streaming, press the X. Here's another good app. Replica is easy to navigate, and it mainly mirrors your screen, although files can also be cast. The one-time purchase plan is pretty expensive. Anyway, let's get to casting. Get Replica installed on your iPhone. Grant the permissions it asks once you launch it. Then you will see information about premium subscription. You can skip it after 10 seconds. Turn on your Chromecast. It will show up on the home screen. Select it. Go to the gallery. You may be asked for permission to access files. Allow it. Now, you can simply open one of your videos or pictures and it will be mirrored through the Chromecast. This is incredibly handy if you want to watch some movies or show photos to your friends. If you want to switch to a different file, just tap it. The 7 day trial is enough to decide if you like Replica. But if you're looking for something else, here's another one. Screen mirroring is very similar to Replica, but, admittedly, does a bit more, like IPTV support, casting directly from Google Drive, and it has a little whiteboard that you can also mirror to TV. These are the steps to using it. Get screen mirroring from the App Store. As usual, grant any permissions it needs. There are a lot of them. Then you will see information about premium subscription. Let's try to cast some media. Press media button and gave all permissions. You can choose any photos or video. Start casting by selecting one of your pictures or movies. Then, just keep browsing. The free version of this app can actually be used indefinitely. It's not a temporary trial. 
but it's pretty restricted, so I'm not sure if you'll enjoy the experience. I hope my video was useful, and you've managed to accomplish the task using one of the presented methods. Thanks for watching, leave a like if you thought it was nice, and subscribe to get more content like this. See you in the next video.